What's going on guys? In this video, we're gonna talk everything FBM. Now, why FBM? What is FBM? I'm gonna break it all down in this video, but FBM allows you to really scale, especially in a time like this, when it's Q4, where sales velocities pick up. Everybody in mama's buying stuff on Amazon, and especially if you have a hot trending item, it allows you to test things fast and get results back quick, especially if you find like a hot trending item like this. I'm gonna break down in a little bit. First off, what is FBM? Why should you be doing FBM? And why are we making a video about it? Well, FBM is basically when you you are sending the item to the customer instead of Amazon. It stands for Fulfilled by Merchant. And once again, it's when I'm the merchant, I'm fulfilling your item if you buy my product on Amazon. Instead of you sending it to Amazon's warehouse where they get the item sent to the end customer, you're doing that. Now, how do you do that? I'm gonna break that all down in this video, exactly how to print out the shipping labels, how to weigh out your boxes, how to close it, how to how to label the product and the box so that it gets to the customer on time, and exactly certain things you should do and certain things you should not do when it comes to FBM. Let's get into I'm also going to reveal one of my products that made me thousands every single day last Q4, late December. I was just pumping this item and pumping this item. I'm going to reveal exactly what it was and how I spotted that trend that it was a good item to FBM during, once again, the fastest velocity period of the year, which is Q4, late December, mid December. Even after Black Friday, you're going to notice that a lot of items that for FBA normally they're starting to stock out. And then now, as an FBM seller, you get more buy box rotation and can match maximize that velocity sales period. And we know that everyone talks about FBA where you have to label your item. If it's a set, you have to put this as a set sticker, send it to Amazon, pack it up in a box. And basically Amazon FBA is going to, Amazon's gonna be fulfilling it by Amazon to the end customer. Now, why would you FBM in certain scenarios when you have once again, a heightened sales period and ultimately when you're trying to test items faster, FBM allows you to test the items quick. Not everyone wants to test a business model such as FBA and then just, you know, send all their hard earned products that they found to Amazon's warehouse and do that whole model if they don't fully understand it. So FBM allows you to keep your items at home, like behind me, I have a bunch of items at home that I'm FBMing. And with this FBM allows you to keep the item at home. And once you get a sale, you can simply send it out to the end customer. Now, there are a couple good things about that. Number one, it allows you to get your cash back a lot faster because when you're sending an item by FBA, it can take anywhere from two to three to even four to even a couple months, depending on if the shipment gets lost, to get to Amazon. Now, that's worst case scenario. It usually takes a couple of weeks. However, at home, I send it directly to the customer once we get the sale. I don't have to wait for it to send to Amazon, check in, become live, become available, become active for the customer to then purchase. I can just list it right now. It's live, active as an FBM offer online on Amazon and then as the customer buys it, I can literally send it out tomorrow and get my cash a lot quicker. Another important thing to note about FBM is that the buy box rotation will favor FBA over FBM. However, and once again, in a period where there's lots of sales such as Q4, a lot of the FBA people will not be going as deep in terms of the inventory that they're buying until they can see increased sales and stock out very quickly. And as an FBM seller, it's very easy for you to list that item. And then you will get the buy box rotation over the FBA offers that are stocking out. And ultimately FBM can still get sales over FBA, but the price just has to be a little bit lower it has to be within a couple um i want to say five to ten percent lower than the fba offers which once again could eat into your margins but if you're trying to test items quick and get data fast and if there's a listing that does not have any fba offers it's a game changer to list on that and you will get buy box rotation because there's no fba so it allows you to test items fast keep items at your house that you want to fbm it allows you to capitalize on fba stockouts late q4 and it also allows you to get around the long shipping times during q4 after november it's Going to take forever to get your items into Amazon, and most likely, if you send it anywhere early December, you're probably not going to get checked in unless you might be like on the east coast or somewhere where there's faster check ins for the warehouses. So, it allows you to still sell items on Amazon in a period where you can't FBA items because it's not going to check in in time for the demand for Christmas and still sell items. All right, like I mentioned, this is one of the items I was going to show you guys exactly. This one specifically was my top seller, um, the specific size, but there's multiple sizes that were selling very well. But this is my this is like my top profit item last Christmas um, around the Christmas time right slightly before Christmas I was selling these like crazy there's this version the black version the men's shoes women's shoes a couple of different colors but this one specifically I was buying it for like I want to say 40 to 50 bucks and I was selling it for 150 so I was making 50 to 60 bucks every single sale on this item I was just pumping them out and so what I was doing is I was buying them online sending them to my house and now as soon as they would get to my house and even honestly before they got to my house you probably 
shouldn't do this, but before they get to your house, I know that they were gonna receive on a certain day. And so in my head, I was like, okay, I'll ha I have a day for them to get to my house. So let me list them live right now. I would get a sale. As soon as they would get to my house, I would package it up, send it out to the customer FBM, and then just make that difference in return. And so once again, FBM is a game changer. I was, you know, just moving these last Christmas for Q4 by FBM. And for those of us to try to FBA them, it would be impossible for them to check into Amazon's warehouse. And ultimately I would miss out on a lot of sales. Now I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to spot those trends and what items you should be looking out to FBA. I'm also going to show you guys how you can print out the FBM barcodes to put onto the box. So like say, if I get a sale for this, I put it in a box. Now what barcode do I put in the box? How do we print it out? Let's get right into it. All right guys, I'm on my iPad and I wanna show you guys exactly how to add an item as an FBM. So let's take for example, this Clinique Super Balance makeup, whatever it is. You wanna grab the ASIN from Seller Amp or wherever you scan the item in. You can even do it from Seller Central. And you wanna to come to add a product. And then what you wanna do is you wanna add the ASIN. Now, because we're selling it as FBM, we wanna sell it. And then we wanna scroll down and click the option where it has, instead of Amazon will ship, you wanna click, I will ship this item myself. And then you wanna add the quantity. Let's say we wanna just sell one. We wanna just adjust the price. Now for pricing, you wanna come back to seller amp really quickly and just see where it has been selling consistently. You know, the buy box 3840 is probably where we're gonna get. We can see right here that the buy box is currently at 3840 um, in the seller amp app. So you wouldn't wanna match this lowest offer right here at 3760. You wouldn't wanna match that because that is, or actually in this case, <laughs> rewind you actually do want to match it because you are fbm so in a normal case i'm thinking fba but normal case because you are fbm like i said the fba at 3840 is currently getting the buy box so in my experience you want to be at least five to ten percent cheaper as an fbm so quick math i might put this at 36 bucks or whatever and let's say that you're getting this item for 16 bucks you know you still be making 50 percent roi now that's nah, that's just an extreme random example it may not be the case now what you actually want to look for in a listing is where you are finding items where there are not a ton of FBA competitors. For example, let's say this right here, this Danner Manufacturing. We can see that for this item, the buy box is steady, is steady at $178.99 and there are no FBA offers. So right away, you see that this bold number one FBA seller is the FBM, or FBA seller, the FBM seller is bold because there are no FBA sellers. So it's gonna be very easy to get sales on an item like this in comparison to an item like the previous one, the Clinique one. To get sales on that, you're gonna have to price it around five to 10% lower. You're gonna have to you know play around with that. Now, once again, once we're back here in the seller central, you wanna basically put, let's say for this item, you have to sell at 36.99, and then you wanna have the quantity as one or 10 or five or however many you have. And you would scroll down, make sure that I will ship this item myself, merchant fulfilled, FBM is selected and then you want to click save and finish so let's say we got our very first sale so now we want to come to Amazon the actual website sellercentral.amazon.com you want to log in and then you want to come to you have orders to ship right here and you want to click ship my orders now we want to scroll down and find the item that we just sold so in this case I'm gonna send out um, two of these greeny skin and cold item that I sold FBM that's this item right here a simple item, it doesn't really matter what it is, but let's say you get your first sale. You wanna to come to buy shipping, right? And now this is the part where you're going to weigh out, put your dimensions in, weigh your box out. So in this case, I'm just gonna put it in, you know, this random box right here. The dimensions might be 12 by 10 by four. You're gonna actually measure it with measuring tape. And basically you wanna put it on a scale, weigh it out. And then you wanna, let's say for example, it is going to be um, 12 by 10 by, or actually 12 by four by 10, right? And let's just say that it weighs, I know it's gonna weigh at least about four pounds. Now you actually want to do this. You don't want to just guess um, because you want to actually have it exact so that you don't get stuff sent back to you. But let's say in this case, it's that much. As you can see, I'm actually way off. It actually only weighs one pound in 13 ounces. And now it will say that we have to send it USPS ground advantage, one pound, one to 70 pounds for 10 bucks. And that is a pretty good deal. Anything that's below one pound will typically be around 488 to five to low fives. Anything above a pound is gonna be around, you know, nine to 10 bucks, even 12 bucks. It really depends on the item. But for this example, we have 988. Now we wanna buy shipping. Now once the label is printed, which it already did, you wanna basically box up the box, slap the label on it, send it to UPS. That's it. One more quick tip, if you get items that are small that will fit inside of a bubble mailer, you can easily just put it in a bubble mailer 
close it and then basically send this out instead of a box because as you can imagine boxes are going to typically weigh more be more spacious and will generally cost a little bit more than a bubble mailer so if you have that ability to use to fit the item in a bubble mailer then definitely do that now once again make sure that you're maximizing fbm because later on later in the year when it gets closer and closer to christmas there's going to be lots of products that are stocking out fba and if you're fbm in these items if you're buying them in stores buying them online for online arbitrage then you really have a advantage over the people who are doing wholesale and even private label who are sending all their items fba make sure you're scanning make sure you're getting in the stores getting online and really checking to see what items you can actually fbm because once again as we see for listings that have higher fba sellers compared to listings that only have fbm sellers those are going to be a lot easier to fbm and also listings that are fbm eligible like for example this item right here this toner it's basically has like alcohol in it whatever and so you cannot send this via fba so this is only going to be an fbm listing anything that's like hairspray canisters that are just you know an aluminum titanium whatever it is bottles those are all going to be fba ineligible meaning that you have to fbm them or send them to an fba um fulfillment center that or FBM fulfillment center that deals with hazmat, but most of us cannot do that. So FBMing is going to be very, very lucrative for those items if you find them cheap enough. If you're confused about any other steps, make sure to comment down below. Also make sure to like the video and subscribe down below if you learned anything new out of this video. With all that being said, make sure you're getting those FBM orders out on time and I'll see you guys in the next video.